वेलकम टू दिस सेशन द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस सेशन इज वाइब्रेशन ऑफ मल्टी डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम सिस्टम इन दिस सेशन वी विल ट्राई टू लर्न अ पावरफुल टूल विच इज यूज टू फाइंड द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ ए मल्टी डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम सिस्टम एंड दैट इज मॉडल एनालिसिस टू अंडरस्टैंड द मॉडल एनालिसिस फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड सम बेसिक things in a, a multi degree of freedom system that is what is eigen values uh, what is a eigen vector eigen vectors are also known uh, normal modes and then we have to understand how we ortho normalize the eigen vectors and then we can develop the model analysis philosophy so i will start with a simple problem of three masses connected with the three springs uh and for simplicity i have considered the three masses uh, as a 3 2 and 1 first mass of amplitude 3 then 2 and then 1 and my springs are 6 3 and 2 uh, please understand at this point i am not talking about any uh, unit of mass and spring because the purpose of this session is to understand the philosophy of uh, model analysis otherwise we can consider the unit and then it will not affect the uh, uh, at all the philosophy so now i have considered the three displacement x1 x2 and x3 for the three masses and then my next job would be to develop the equation of motion for the system and for that purpose i have made the three free body diagrams let consider that the m1 can move in this direction with the acceleration x1 double dot and because of that the two spring force will react in the opposite direction uh, k1 x1 and k2 x1 minus x2 when i will apply the d lambert principle to this free body diagram i will get this uh, uh, governing equation similarly i have made the two free body diagram for mass f m2 and m3 Uh, here you can see that that there is no spring at this side so there is no force to mass uh, m3 on this side and these three are the three governing equation when i will rearrange these three governing equation i can make uh, a matrix of these three equation here you can see that this is the first matrix from these three masses 3 2 2 and 1 uh, x double dot uh, basically shows the uh, acceleration so this is my acceleration vector which i am representing by a single x double dot value this is my stiffness matrix and again this is my displacement vector so now i am having uh, my mass matrix then the acceleration vector stiffness matrix and the displacement vector once we develop the matrix form of the governing equation then we have to find the natural frequency and uh, mode shifts of the Uh, multi degree of freedom system and for that purpose we have to develop a eigen value formulation for the development of the eigen value formulation we have to put a general solution into the governing equation here i have considered a harmonic solution and i am representing my solution by a constant x and a variable time variable function e to the power i omega t x is nothing but the three displacement vectors capital x is the three constant when i will put this general solution into my governing equation uh, i will get uh, this kind of equation where x uh, is a displacement vector uh, and uh, um, this is the mass matrix and the stiffness matrix here i can see that if i will consider x is equal to 0 it will satisfy the equation but the solution will be a trivial solution to get a non trivial solution i have to consider that the determinant of this quantity will be zero when i will take the determinant of this quantity zero this will give me uh, this kind of uh, matrix here you can see that i have done nothing but the, i have considered the mass matrix and the stiffness matrix and i added these two matrix i will get this determinant when i will solve this determinant i will get 3 uh, omega 1 square omega 2 square and omega 3 square roots of this uh, determinant these roots are uh, the three uh, eigen values of my problem and which represent the three square of the natural three natural frequencies in the present example i am getting three natural frequencies as 0.531 2.566 and 4.402 when i will put one by one all the three eigen values into my governing equation 
I will get the three normal modes or three eigenvectors. For example, when I will put the first natural frequency along with the M and K matrix, uh, I will get a normal mode. And please understand here that I am getting a normal mode which is showing by 1, 2.4 and 3.36. But these three values are not the absolute value. It, it represent the relative value. Here I am having the relative value with respect to my first value. For example, if my first mass is moving with an amplitude 1 unit, then the second mass will move 2.4 times of the sing uh, displacement of the first vector and 3.3 times will be the displacement of the first vector. I have considered a symbol u1 to represent the first normal mode. In the similar fashion, I have put the uh, second and third natural frequency into my governing equation and I have calculated the second and the third normal mode which, uh, which are uh, as 1, 0 0.433 and minus 1.5 as well as 1, minus 1.4 and 1.16 uh, which I am representing by U2 and U3. Uh, please uh, have a look uh, uh, onto the three eigenvectors. We can see here that the, in the first case all the three values are positive that means all the three masses are moving in the same direction. We can see here that if I am taking the first mass as a unit 1 the second and third is also moving in the same direction. But when I will see the second normal mode I can observe that the first and second mass is mo are moving in the same direction but the third mass is moving in the opposite direction and in this third mode we can see that the second mass is moving in the opposite direction to the other two masses I can rearrange these three normal modes into a single matrix uh, in this fashion and thus combined normal modes matrix is known as the modal matrix here you can see here uh, that this is my model matrix where the first column repre is representing the first normal mode u1 similarly the second uh, and third columns are representing second and third normal modes respectively